Okay, so the whole reason I even started this vlog is this. And it's going to sound so silly, but I was reading some of the, like, celebrity gossip sites, and they were talking about how Blake Lively just had her baby, and it's rumored, nobody knows, I've done this whole thing with that thing sticking up like that, nobody really knows or whatever, that it's rumored that she named her baby Violet, okay, which, that's a cute name. You can call her Vi for short. That's so fun. One of my books that I love, and now I can't think of the title. It just went out of my head. But um, there's a violet in that one. Dang, what is that book? Anyway, okay, well, wait. Let's just... Let's, I think it's Violet and Claire. That's pretty obvious. Anyway, so... They were talking, like, they, they wrote up the article, like, Blake Lively rumored... To have named her child Violet, copycatting Jennifer Gardner. Because Jennifer Gardner has a baby named Violet. First of all, I have a couple of things to say. Just because they're celebrities doesn't mean they're all in the same circle. I'm not saying they haven't run into each other and they don't know each other roughly or whatever. I get that Hollywood's not that big of a place. That award shows are not that, that big of a place. I mean, they're huge, actually. You know, the auditorium, I'm just saying, like, I get it. But, like, so what? That's like saying you shouldn't name your kid something because somebody else in the same profession as you in a different state has your child named that. Like, it was kind of silly. Kind of a stretch. Then I had this to say. And this is my advice on naming your baby if you're pregnant, okay? This is just me, just me giving you a word of unsolicited advice. But the thing is, like, it is unsolicited, like, you didn't ask me my opinion, but at the same time, like, you're going to know what this video is about, and I totally, like, you, you clicked it. So you can't really be like, well, that, that chick's all, like, giving me advice I don't really want when, like, you clicked it. So, anyway, I, I don't know. Like, like I try not to give unsolicited advice. But that's, it's kind of, it is, but it isn't because you look for it. Anyway, or you clicked it wanting to know what I had to say. So, it's whoever, whatever. Here's, here it is. In my experience, and this is me telling you from my experience, right? When you're pregnant and you're thinking about what to name your child, People are going to say things like this, but think about what the kids are going to shorten that to. Kids are cruel, and they're going to tease that baby. Like, let's say you want to name your child, I don't know, Willow. They're going to say, you know, what if they call her Free Willy? Okay. The thing about that is kids can be cruel. We're all hoping and trying to raise children who won't make fun and who won't bully. And I don't think that bullying and calling names is exactly the same thing. Bullying is kind of like a more systematic relentlessness. But anyway, what I'm saying is I, I, we're all hoping to raise children who won't do it. But kids do say things. Some kids say things and they're not even trying to be mean. Like they think they're funny. And it's like your kid could be really sensitive to it. Sure, your child might get called free willy. And she might hate it. However, chances are, no matter what you name that child, they could turn it into a joke if they wanted to. One and two, even if they don't tease about a name, they will tease about something. So if you have a name in your mind and your baby is born and you look at that baby and you think, oh, my name is perfect for this little person, Go with it. Don't let that be a reason you don't. That brings me to number two. You have a name in your mind. We're going to go with, well, let's say, Teresa. You might pick that name. So you have Teresa in your mind. Or, or maybe you have like, yeah, okay, let's go with Teresa. And then you have your baby. And there's a lot going on. Number one, my suggestion only, don't immediately hand that baby the name Teresa. 
take a day, like take a couple of hours, and you can call her your love, you can call her my baby girl, you can call her whatever, and if it's a boy, obviously, but I'm just saying, like there's still a lot of bonding to be done, but maybe afterwards, you might look at that baby and think, this baby is not a Teresa. Quick little side story. My name was supposed to be Marsha. I don't think that Marsha is necessarily a bad name, but I also don't feel like a Marsha. So when my mama had me, she was holding me, and she started to freak out because she was like, oh my God, this baby is not a Marsha. So what do I do? Okay, that's, that's, that's a good thing. It's a good thing to feel the energy and give yourself a moment to breathe and not feel like because I told everybody that's the name I picked, I'm going to go with it. Okay? Number three. Yeah, we're in number three. Number three. I'm going to say this nicely. Yes, you should consult with your partner about what to name your baby. You should. It's their child, too. And obviously, you're like, you know, whatever. Like, you should consult with your partner. If, if that's the type of situation you have where there's an active partner, you should consult with them. But. Do not forget that you are doing a lot of the work and you are going to be with that baby for a very long time. So if there's a name that really means the world to you and y'all can come up together with either a first name or a middle name that complements it, then I think you need to tell your partner this name makes my heart thing and I want it you know like that's okay and it's okay to kind of be stuck on it you don't have to just give up immediately because it got vetoed sometimes people need a moment to really think about it especially if you then meet your baby and that name fits okay so there you go like that's number three number four no doubt a unique and fun name is unique and fun. But before you get way crazy, especially on like the first name, think about your child. They have to learn how to spell it. They have to tell everybody else how to spell it. They have to tell the world how to pronounce it. I can tell you, my name is Sonia. Sonia. S-O-N-Y-A. Sonia. I can tell you honestly that outside of my family, nobody, mm, that's a lie, outside of my family, 99% of the people say my name incorrectly the first time. And 90% of them say it wrong after I correct them. And I have a pretty, it's just Sonia. It's not like anything really trippy, right? This is the conversation I have all the time. Well, okay, first of all, I don't even really correct people anymore now. Like, if you're not somebody I'm going to talk to on a regular basis, and I'm going to constantly hear my name said wrong, I don't really correct you. So, um, when I was a teenager, and I was kind of a bitch face, I was like, you could look straight at me and say my name, and if you said it wrong, I would ignore you. And when adults would say, I was talking to you, I'd say, oh, because that's not my name. Now, Sonia, Sanja, Tanya, those names, I will pretty much... Respond. Sandra. People will call me Sandra. Um, I'll pretty much respond. So, like, I'm just like, yeah, I know you're talking to me and that you're not saying my name correctly. Here you go. What do you want? All right. 
But this is the conversation I have with the people I do correct. Like my pastor. I've been going to the same church for two years. And I'm pretty close with my pastors and with a lot of the people there. And I, I think maybe one of them says my name correctly. Um, and it was funny because, like, one day somebody said my name. And that, that person was like, that's not her name. And they were like, that's not your name? And I was like, no, it's Sonia. And they were like, oh, what do I say? And I was like, you call me Sonia. Um, which is, I mean, whatever. And so they were like, why haven't you corrected me? And I was like, well, because I know you're talking to me. And they're like, oh, no, it's Sonia. Okay, no, I'm going to fix it. So then they kept calling me Sonia, which is fine. Later on, somebody called me Sonja. And... They turned around and were like, that's not her name. Her name is Sonia. All I'm saying is, before you get really creative with your spelling and really creative with your name, remember that your child has to live with it in the real world on the daily basis. Okay. Finally, finally, I got this a lot when I was pregnant too. I would talk about the name I wanted to name my child, and somebody else would say, well, so-and-so already has a baby named that. I winded up only naming one of my children. I was not supposed to have, I wasn't supposed to be able to have children at all without a lot of medical interference and I have a child which is amazing and awesome um, my youngest is not biologically from me and was already named when I met her as a wee baby um, but I always said that my second child and then when I met my wife I was like my third child whatever child I name next if it's a girl, I'm going to name her Mia Elizabeth. And my mom was like, you know, whatever. She was saying, like, well, so-and-so, you had a neighbor named Elizabeth. I don't care. So-and-so's name. I don't care. Okay? My mother, my middle name is, I don't, I don't tell anybody this. I don't tell anybody this because I really don't like it. And it's weird because I've met other people and I like them and I like the name. I don't. I feel no connection to this name, and a lot of it has to do with how I was taught to spell the name Patrice, P-A-T-R-I-C-E, Pat Rice. My mom would go like this, Pat the Rice, Sonia, Pat the Rice, and so literally it's the most annoying thing in my head. I know that doesn't sound too bad, but like it annoys the crap out of me, and I hear it whenever I think about my middle name. So, and that probably has a lot to do with other family stuff that goes on. But anyway, so that's my middle name. My mom wanted, like, when she had me and was like, you don't look like a Marsha. Patrice was her second name. And she wanted to switch it to Patrice. And so she was like, oh, okay, baby's name is Patrice now. And somebody was like, yeah, but your neighbor's name is Patrice. And my mom was like, oh, you're right. I can't use that name. And my whole life, so then what happened was she was like, what should I do? Like, I want to keep Patrice and I can't use Marsha, which, hello, Marsha Patrice. That doesn't really sound that great. But anyway, so they were like, well, keep Patrice as a middle name and we'll find a name that suits your kid and goes with Patrice. And then... Her friend who was there who had a baby name book, who had brought a baby name book in, was like, what, where should we start? And my mom was like, start an S because my older sister, Shanna, she starts with an S. So they, they, got, they opened up at the beginning of S and went all the way from the beginning of S to Sonia before they were like, Sonia Patrice. Okay. So, anyway. While I... I actually do like the name Patrice. I just don't care for the memory it brings up. But anyway, um, while I personally 
feel like Asanya, I think Patrice would have been fine. And my nicknames, which are Trice and Tracy, both come from Patrice. So, uh, what was I trying to say? Oh, so I would not have been against being called Patrice my entire life. What's funny is that the reason my mom did not name me that was the neighbor. And the neighbors moved by the time I was like, first of all, that neighbor was like 15 years older than me. So by the time I was four, she had moved out and gotten married. She didn't live there anymore. And second of all, there was no Patrices in my school, in our church, in my family. Like, all I'm trying to say is, if I have a little girl ever in my future, I'm naming her Mia Elizabeth, despite the fact that Elizabeth is used by my cousin, because it's my baby. And I, so what? People have the same name a lot. So what? You know, now, obviously, if, like, my cousin and I do not have the same last name, if for some reason or whatever you did or whatever, I could see, but what, so what? It's your baby, and you have to name it. And if my baby comes out and looks like a Mia Elizabeth or whatever when I get her, I'm using it because I love that name. So what I'm trying to say is just because somebody else, like if somebody tells you, well, your second cousin six times removed is named whatever, so what? Your little family, your little nuclei, your little family is yours. And you want to be happy and do things that make you feel good. And I had to hear about how my mom wished she would have named him Patrice. Wished we didn't have a name of Patrice, a, a neighbor named Patrice. Like, I had to hear it. So, like, she really was upset by that. And it was like, well, heck, dude, then you should have just named him Patrice. Who cares about the neighbor? Anyway, there's my advice on baby names. And I hope that if you're pregnant and you're in one of those positions where it's like you really like a name and people are giving you silly reasons to, like, walk away from it, then you consider really everything I had to say. I hope it helps. Oh, and congratulations on your baby. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, like, I love mindless television. I don't know what to say about that. So, like, if I'm reading a book, I tend to stay awake. And if I'm, whatever, I just like mindless television. And I love having it on my DVR so I can play it while I'm doing other stuff, like blogging. And it's just kind of in the background, but it's kind of entertaining, but not really. So, I currently am having a fantastic DVR life because all a lot of shows are back in season. Like, Dance Mom, DVR that. Real World Skeletons, DVR that. Um... What else? Master Chef Junior. I actually like that one a lot for real reasons, not just silly reasons. Um, Vanderpump Rules. That's a goofy one. Oh, MTV's The Challenge, Battle of the Exes. My heart is broken because Dean Brown and CT are going to be on this one. I'm about to watch it now. Um, and Night, but it's more about Dean. She was awesome. She was awesome. So, that... Oh, what else? If you're DVRing, oh, Scorpion. I have like seven Scorpions I have to watch. But if you're DVRing anything good, or if you have any like brainless reality TV that you recommend, I would totally like to hear those recommendations. Uh, I'm going to go back to food vlogging now, and I'll talk to you guys later.